Ooh, look at the sump guys. This sump looks very, very nice. It's white in color here, very nice blue. What's going on guys, this is Joey Young coming at you another video today. So today I finally got in my sump. Took some time, you know, deciding what I wanted to get. Decided to get something a little bit different and this is the ice cap 24 gallon sump. Now the sump is actually going to be in my pleco tank. So I actually need a lot more oxygen flow in the pleco tank. So I decided to go with a sump system setup. Right now it's running a canister filter and it works fine, but I'm having to run an Airstone plus um, kind of a wave maker just to create more oxygen. And I decided, you know, let's go ahead and just make it easy where I can just make a sump and a sump will help oxygenate the water a lot better. So I haven't done an unboxing video in a while for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this sump for you guys. The setup won't happen today, uh, but maybe this weekend when I have a little bit more time um, and all the parts come in, I'll probably try to set it up this weekend. And you know, a video will come out for that. So stay tuned for that. Ooh, look at the sump guys. This sump looks very, very nice. It's white in color here, very nice blue um, accent colors here. It looks like we have one um, kind of intake here where it'll actually the water will come down. And then this huge, huge area for the actual pump to sit in. And this is actually the cool part about the sump. So this is where, you know, you would have a skimmer, but you know, fresh water, I won't have any skimmers. You have lines here if you want to dose. I uh, won't have any dosing, but you know, it's there. Uh, but the cool thing about this sump and I actually why I went with this sump is because it has a reservoir tank built in. So this has a three gallon reservoir tank built in here. Very nice. It has pipings in here and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, so here's the front of the actual sump here. Take a look. Very nice and clear, you can actually see everything. It has a nice little label in terms of the height because you can adjust the baffle there to figure out you know, how high you want the sump to be. This is the reservoir area, it's very clear. So you can see um, you know, how much water you have left and you can see all the way through there to the other side where the actual pump was set. So the pump you know, actually has a lot of room here and I'm gonna go ahead and test fit the pump that I'm gonna be using. All right, so here's the pump. It does fit in relatively easy here. Boom, boom. So uh, definitely for sure it does fit. Um, it looks like it will not allow any other um, coverage here. So um, I'm going to put a strainer in here. So I'm going to have to kind of rig up a, a nice little strainer for the pump so it doesn't, you know, suck up any debris or I can put a, a strainer on this side here so that nothing else can get into that uh, impeller here and where it'll damage the pump. A very nice room, very big, very open. Like, you know, this pump has, you know, a lot of room here. And here are the two piping for the top piece here where you can kind of put this all the way down. It will sit here pretty quiet. Overall, super nice looking sump. Um, I'm excited to actually put this into the um, tank here. All right guys, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this quick unboxing video of my new uh, ice cap sump. Make sure you guys stay tuned for later this weekend or possibly next week. I'm gonna try to install it this week, but we'll see what happens uh, to see the actual full install and the full, you know, turning it on and whatnot in the actual Pleco tank. So until next time guys, peace.